Okay, good morning. I'm Sashi. I'm just gonna head back into town to post some. I was gonna see the news media, well, this behind some time. So, you can move on to the Jurassic World. So, I'm gonna head to that and travel club. Um, just on the dark. Lots of with that dollar plate. Well, at least a photos in the cafe, you know, where I can get those dope and donuts. I'm gonna try, hopefully, get one today. So. So, um, this is it for the moment. Hello, this is an uh, update for my exhibition on Saturday. I uh, managed to go and see Jurassic World. Very interesting, actually. Um, I don't think it's really... My opinion wasn't those reboots, because I have reference to the very first Jurassic Park film, and that's... So it's like more a sequel where Seth further on what someone else set up the park managed to in sense get running in that and the problems especially like all team parks in order just to attract people back to the team park they have, so I have to add new features in that to it. Uh, in this case because it's connected to dinosaurs the Genetics is trying to modify, make new species of dinosaurs in the, in the province of Cranius. So, um, they see like that causes, with one of the new species causes the problems, and then the whole story falls from that. That's basically the way it is. Basically, especially not to mess around with dinosaurs, leave them to be honest. It's probably the more of the whole story. We start messing with sci science now, right? Especially better to use science more for understanding. And well, actually, probably make sure you read the data right before making crazy decisions. Because I feel that the scene first and that it's just too complex to suddenly be made from a random force like a bang. Everything seems being perfect. I mean, with the plants going and the sun, all crash, spawning into it, and all these little forces. Um, after I went to Jurassic Park, I found. So, after this summer, I managed to find the Delhi. It's 147 Delhi on Panel Street, which is on the upside of Con Street from the return to hospital that's going down a bit further. It wasn't too much further as it told. It's basically near the top of Marlborough Street. Um, I went there, tried to get my tunnels, but they were sold out earlier. So basically, well, at least I stuck a glass sandwich and seen the drink because it was lunchtime, right? Actually, I didn't snack in the summer because I was kind of full from breakfast and that. So the time just need. Um, I got the one four seven club sandwich. It was quite nice. It was actually a bit different, especially it was chicken mayo kind of bacon and that. And then the only bap was totally different from what I have. Any other bap? It was nice, tasty, and delicious. Okay. Maybe compared to Subway now, it'd be more on the expense side. But it's, well, at least a bit more upmarket kind of tip. Um, also, they gave you a fork and that, and with some paper on the tray. Especially some of the things was going out, falling out, so I want not to leave anything. Make sure I got everything out of the used fork to pick up the thing that fell out. Uh, I tried to go for the other place. The name was given, um, it's actually in this place called Trust Pepper. I think it must be a coffee shop, maybe inside the building that. I was thinking, like, sorry, I'm just trying to get a good angle on this. So, I spent ages looking around, I don't know if they still had any donuts, to try and get a donut on that. So, I didn't get any donuts on Saturday. Um, the other place is near my work. I just got a bit more detail when I got back to the train station. To try and figure out, so now I know what it is, 
Oh, that's it's very close to the office, so I'll probably aim for that one. Actually, to get my donut. Down the 147 Delhi, which is a bit longer off from the office. So, they'll be the same company that does, so you just should be able to get them. Uh, also, I'm going to try and look for one of my future cameras for recharging the battery. And basically, I'm going to do a podcast. Basically, I'm going to do more of my fidget blocks once I get that, once I have that. I'm also going to put the donut hunting and grabbing the donut onto hold, onto at least half my fidget camera for me that I can block myself. Probably on fidget, I'll hopefully get at least a bit better than this. Um, maybe sometimes I might use this, especially if I need to do something at hand, maybe the only plan. With the fidget camera, not really a hand in that. We'll see how things go in that. So, I'm not sure when the next video block is. Hopefully, I should get it. Depending on how long it takes me to find a while. I have two fidget cameras. One is more business kind of adventure thing to do my own kind of homemade DVDs and sell them a low budget kind of on subjects in mass. Especially if we we're both editing in that. Um, then the other one's a personal one. So that's it for the. Um, this is being recorded basically the end of this is Tuesday the 11th. So it's kind of over two days. Two different days and gaps. Um, also, just to fill you on Sunday, I actually went to the Minions movie, which I was planning on going to, but I started on that. It was starting late and that. Um, so I went on Sunday and that's a bit late in the day, five o'clock showing. Uh, also, with the Sim, I went to SimWorld for the Jurassic World. I was able to book my ticket online and then just download my iPhone. So I had that scanned. Also, I didn't really do any fissure blocks in the sim, just in case to look for my ticket. It was on my phone. I kind of kept it on, put it on to silent and that. Even though I was still on mute, call for anything like that, so no calls were coming. At least conserving battery power to have it instantly, instead of waiting to be loaded up in case they look for my ticket and that. Just to be spared to be safe than sight. Okay. So it's good night for me for this fidget block.